There's few jobs as rewarding as those in Boeing test and evaluation. Hey! And getting a chance to test a brand new airplane just might be the pinnacle. Such is the case with the new Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. And with any new airplane, Boeing must demonstrate that even when fully loaded, the airplane can safely stop a takeoff on short notice. To certify the airplane, we make sure that the airplane can stop on the runway at its highest takeoff weight and its maximum speed. It seems very unlikely this would ever happen. However, it is a requirement that we test this and that's what we do. We test very extreme situations that we really expect to never encounter. Those extremes include not only loading the plane to its maximum weight and accelerating to maximum speed, but installing brakes that are 99% worn. We grind the brakes down to the thinnest that they can ever be. We deactivate one of the brakes to simulate that there's a failure. So, I mean, this we go to extreme lengths to make sure that the test is the absolute possible worst case scenario. It's a scenario that takes some intense planning. 90% preparation and 10% execution. A very coordinated effort between test engineers, pilots, emergency crews, and airport personnel, to name just a few. We've been doing landing performance and, and high speed uh, rejected takeoff performance uh, for probably a month prior to actually conducting this end point, which is that max brake energy condition. Then, the moment of truth. Bring the engines up. You notice that the airplane accelerates very slowly because it's very, very heavy. Accelerate the airplane uh, again to about 188 uh, knots of ground speed. And then once you get to the takeoff speed, you slam on the brakes. The 787-9 makes a complete and safe stop. Now, it's crucial to monitor the energy, in this case heat, that is created from the force placed on the critically worn brakes. To simulate real-time emergency response, fire crews must wait five minutes before engaging with the airplane. We are monitoring the uh, wheels, um, the tires themselves deflate per design. They have devices called fuse plugs within the, uh, the, the wheels themselves that melt under high temperature and then in a very controlled fashion release the pressure of the air of the nitrogen in the tire so they don't blow treads. We want to make sure that that occurs in a very controlled fashion. From stopping distance to temperature to fail safes, Boeing test and evaluation makes sure everything goes safely, exactly according to plan. From a performance perspective, it was right on. It's disturbingly unexciting. And brings the 787-9 one step closer to the flying public.